Hello everyone, welcome. This is Sun and Moon Energy. I go by the name of Sylvie when I'm here with y'all reading energy. And I'd like to do a reading for Gemini. This reading is for Gemini, but really all are welcome here. If something speaks to you, you're more than welcome to it. Um, so that being said, I've already done a pre-shuffle of the three decks and meditated on the energy. I was really trying to meditate on Gemini and their money. It's Friday, like doing a little bit of like a Friday energy, weekend energy read. And like we just can't get away from these same uh, cards and the same energy um, because I just get that somebody from your past or an opportunity from the past is coming back around again. So um, we have the Page of Cups, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords came out in the th pre-shuffle. Six of Cups again with the Empress and the Three of Cups. Can't make this up. It's like all water energy. Um, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy to start off with here, basically. It's just... I mean, we have some air energy there with the swords. Uh, Page of Wands or Daughter of Wands, Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card. Nine and Ten of Pentacles, uh, the Ten of Cups wanted to come out, or Nine of Cups wanted to come out, and the Strength card during the pre-shuffle. So really, you know, getting heavily this um, energy of something from your past, which is like what a lot of um, astrologers are kind of saying with... Um, these planets are going retrograde. I think Mercury's in retrograde right now. You know, people from our past opportunities might rise up again, um, something that may be from the past. But I also have to say that I was meditating on the energy of the last reading. It kind of stuck with me. And it could also just be that you are getting this opportunity to do something that is really close to your heart. You've always wanted to do since you were either, you know, a child or a teenager, you know, in your youth, or maybe like a young adult, and something's coming in here. This is opportunity. This is a youthful energy. This is a renewal. It's feeling uh, sort of like kid-like again, right? Uh, like we have uh, endless opportunities here at our feet. It's a very creative energy with the palette at their hip here. For me, this is a travel energy with this Page of Cups and how this little bird here in their cup, in their hand, to me it looks like an airplane. They're at the edge of this like ocean or sea. Um, it's almost like either, I'm getting like this wishing upon a star type energy. So again, I feel like it's just something that you've always wanted and maybe it's something that you've kind of like stuffed down a little bit because the moon was coming out in the pre-shuffle. This could also be a person, but um, we shall see. So that being said, I just want to take a moment here to say thank you to everyone who's been watching, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting. I appreciate y'all so much, really. Um, it means so, so, so much to me how much um, this channel has grown. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. It's going to be my one year anniversary coming up in a couple of days. I'm going to do a special reading for that. And I'm just, I'm so excited to be here, really. I just, I wish I had more time to devote to this. Um, I do have to work a job, but, uh, you know, I've just really, I've never been so excited to really do something like every day, um, if I can here. So that being said, what does spirit have to say? Um, what message? coming through for Gemini, for Gemini. Also, whenever, um, you know what, I'm doing my pre-shuffle, I always um, take a moment to thank uh, ans my ancestors, guides, angels, universe, spirit, for this opportunity to continue to feel blessed and um, connected with other people this way and bring maybe some inspiration and hope for me, for others. Uh, that we're all on this journey together even though we are on our separate journeys uh but yeah so that being said look we have the ten of pentacles that came out with the eight ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and judgment two of wands yeah this is like i'm hearing happy heart happy home this is material wealth abundance this is a really stable home life this is owning maybe property, owning your own home, uh, being able to provide for your family. Ace of Pentacles here. I love this 
how it's depicted in this deck, the Robin Wood deck. Um, this is my first uh, tower deck given to me, and I just I love it so much. Um, <clears throat> But this, this huge pentacle is just like sort of like hovering in the air over this pedestal and it almost seems like there it's part of the trees and I've said this before. This is unlimited wealth. There might even be some type of, this is passive income, this is like forever passive income. This is like, you know when you win the lottery and it's, well maybe you don't know because I don't know either really, but it's that type of thing where <laughs> I know I say you know a lot and it kind of annoys me too and I would try to like control it, but I, I really can't. Um, <clears throat> but it's it's winning the lottery where it's like they pay you like a couple th grand a month or something like that for life, right? There's like this lottery win for life. And it's kind of like that. It's just like always having money. Like you just don't have to worry. It's always, everything always being taken care of here. That's the energy I'm getting. Just for Gemini and their money. Gemini and their money. As we go into the weekend of, I guess this is, wow, is today the 8th? I don't even, honestly, I don't even know what today is. I know yesterday was the 8th, so yesterday was... The Lionsgate portal. I didn't really kind of like pay too much attention to that because it was just a lot. I feel like I was a little overwhelmed with information on that. I just feel like, okay, cool. So like I should just work on like things that like I want to, what I want to, what I'm trying to manifest, right? Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. The two swords came out. We have the Hangman and the Strength card. There may be some type of decision knight of swords came out in kind of an awkward way there might be some type of decision that has to happen in order way too many cards my arthritis is really bad right now um my hands are my joints are really swollen um, especially my right hand so it's very hard for me to shuffle but yeah uh it yeah, you might just be with the Ace of Wands and that Nine of Swords. You could just be a little bit in your head. Maybe an opportunity actually already came in. We have the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck with the Four of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Wow, Gemini, two Aces here. This is definitely giving me the energy. <clears throat> Pardon? This is definitely giving me the energy of a new opportunity for you, a big opportunity. Um, something maybe that it's coming in so fast that you don't know how to make the decision because it's going to uproot everything, I'm hearing. And this could even be somebody coming back from your past or an opportunity that's somehow tied to your past that it's, it's happening so fast that you almost don't know how to handle it. With this ace of eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck, four swords, eight, ace of uh, swords and the eight of wands with the moon. Wow, the lover's card. We have the king of wands again. A lot of air energy here, but this is a lot of the energy that I'm getting here where it's like, you have to make a decision fast. There's some type of decision that needs to be quick. Otherwise, it might be gone is kind of the energy that I'm getting here that you're feeling that this may not be the actual case it may be the case this could be maybe a job offer came in and you have you know five days to make the decision seven days maybe not even that much I don't know you know how that really works um, everybody's different right but you have to make the decision and you have to make it quick and I do feel this has to do with your money this has to do with um, well that four cups is in reverse there because remember in the beginning, right, we had the Page of Cups, we have the Page of Wands. To me, it's saying there's some type of opportunity coming in with that Six of Cups. This could even be, you know, somebody coming back from your past with an opportunity here. You know, that Ace of Wands could be fertility energy there. Um, but I just feel like this, and this is sort of like a, a family energy here, right? But with the Eight of Pentacles, I'm almost getting more of just like this is about growing your material wealth, being able to take care of 
others, yourself and others, being part of a community here, being feeling stable in your home life, you know, not having to like move around all the time. Can you clarify the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini? Is the Ten of Pentacles here for Gemini? What more do you want to tell us about this energy? This beautiful energy? The Four of Pentacles like wanted to come out sideways. <laughs> I don't know. It's so kooky when cards do that. Because I feel like... So there's something here, yeah. I feel like there's a decision with the chariot card. I think it's just spirit clarifying what I just said. It's like... Hard on. I think you... Something is coming in, some type of opportunity, but you have to make this decision really quickly. I think this is almost maybe even coming in suddenly. It's everything's happening really quickly here and you're kind of like it could be also there's a competitive edge here and if you don't yeah judgment nine look at judgment and nine of swords did we not open with a judgment card right in the other deck I just feel like look we have the high priestess here and then there's the empress card underneath here I just really feel like you have to use your intuition on this one don't get caught up in your head Gemini I heard from other astrologers that like, I'm not an astrologer, I just mean like watching others that are astrologers on YouTube, um, talking about like maybe this isn't the right time this month, you know, like right now to be signing any contracts when things are in retrograde, right? I guess really through the end of the month. And so that could also be something where you're kind of like <clears throat> in your head because you have to make this decision really suddenly here. More about this energy for the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is, get, this is to me like you're worried over some type of partnership. You're worried over some type of... Um, business uh partnership some type of well way too many i'm gonna keep going and i think this will um usually how it works for me is then this will become more clearer because this energy is a little it's a little murky right now for me to be honest clarify this two of swords energy for our spirit thank you um <laughs> okay so it's basically, I think it's time here you have to kind of face reality. I think that's what's happening here. There's, there's a facing of reality and having to take the, the blindfold off here. You can't stay in this position forever, right? There's nothing to stand on here. There's no foundation. This is almost like after a tower moment, right? It's like, what do I do? What do I do, right? And it's so interesting after this Ten of Pentacles here, with this energy, it could almost be like so there's some type of upheaval maybe or something here. Or just maybe some type of decision that you have to make related to this way too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. It's a lot of cards, Spirit. More about this Two of Swords energy. More about this Two of Swords. Thank you. I just need Two of Cups. Yeah, there's some type of partnership. There's some type of uh, either it's a it's a business partnership or it's a romantic partnership. We are talking about money. Wow, double eights here with the eight of cups and the eight of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. Clarify the knight of swords for us. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm not taking that card. That was my hand. <clears throat> Clarify the Knight of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. I almost feel like something here, there was, like, again, this clash of, like, having to, like, Moon card. Interesting. That doesn't really make much sense, right, for that Knight of Swords. And then we have the King of Swords. It's almost like you can see hidden things. It's almost like what was what was so something here is be becoming uncovered. There there's something here that's coming to the surface. 
It just can't be hidden any longer. Whatever that means here, I, I'm not really quite sure, but there is something here. And I think it's in regards to some type of partnership, some type of business relationship, a person, an opportunity. With this two and three of cups here. Heavy air energy here, heavy air energy, these swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We do have a lot of fire energy here with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius with these wands, a lot of earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with uh, these pentacles here. And we have double eight, we have eight, 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 Gemini. This is crazy because we just had that, I mean, we're still in it. We have eight, 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 double eight of pentacles. Double twos here. A lot of progression, you know, again, this energy of like really working towards something. It's very obvious. You, maybe this is just like something you've been working on again, like I said in the beginning. Something you've wanted to do since you were younger or something you've, <clears throat> you have been working on since you were younger. It's like an opportunity maybe that you've been waiting for. And it could be that this opportunity might take you away from people, places, and things, right? That maybe you're putting pressure on you. Um, two of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Magician, Six of Cups. Wow. Yeah, that's too many cards, but I do feel like... This is clarity here on something. After being in this two, two of Swords energy, right? More about this Ace of Wands energy. More about this Ace of Wands energy. Thank you, Spirit. Too many cards. I don't want to make this a really long reading. I notice a lot of people aren't subscribed a lot. 75% of my watchers are not subscribed to my channel. Kind of kooky. So if you would be so kind, if you're already watching, what's the harm in subscribing? You can be anonymous when you subscribe. You don't even have to turn on notifications if you don't want to, but I post videos all, all times of the day, different days, you know. Um, so yeah, that being said, uh, show me some love if you're already watching and hit the subscribe button, right? That really helps grow my channel the algorithm, all that, when you uh, hit the like button, when you comment, appreciate it so much, really. So with this Ace of Wands, with the Death card and the Queen of Cups coming out, that Queen of Cups really wanted to come out. There's a, there's a, there's a definite rebirth here. I mean, if I've ever did see one, right? So... Whatever this opportunity is here with the Ace of Wands, this new beginning, there will be some major transformation. And I mean, I'm getting here, there could be maybe some, maybe you're having a child. Maybe you're adopting a child. Maybe you're starting a new business. Maybe you're expanding your business. Can you clarify the Nine of Swords here before I, uh, I need to clarify this Nine of Swords. Seven of Swords and the, uh, seven, seven of Swords and the Three of Pentacles. This is really, really weird energy, not gonna lie. But I think Mercury is in retrograde right now, so... I thought it wasn't until the end of month. I don't know. It's just like, I try not to focus too much on that stuff because I think then it just kind of like puts out that energy, right? A feeling like it's almost just like this, the cycling over of things and like re rehashing of things. And that could be the energy here where you're just recycling this energy of where it's like, there's a lot of fear energy mixed in. It's the stop and go energy that I was picking up on the other day.
what what is Gemini's energy here? Gemini's page of cups in reverse. Gemini's energy here. The situation. Gemini's energy. I'm not quite sure if this is your energy or somebody else's energy. Six of Wands. You want to start fresh. There's a definite wanting to start fresh here. Wanting to start over. Three of Swords. Yeah, that Three of Swords with that Six of Cups. <clears throat> there's definitely something in your past that you are really trying to move away from. You are definitely in something here that's really wanting you to break free. This could be something that maybe even you thought was your Ten of Pentacles and turned out maybe that it wasn't. Or this could just be, again, this some type of job opportunity that is uh, going to uproot things for you. It's going to uproot your home life. You could be switching jobs. You could be moving away from a place that you've lived since you were a child. There's definite travel energy here. There's definite rebuilding of a foundation here. Especially after this like childlike energy here. And even with this death card and then that queen of cups, it's, it's this level up. It's this becoming this beautiful swan, right? There's some type of, um, maybe you graduated from some, like, again, that's been kind of heavy. This could uh, be, there's just like a little bit of a, of, a, of a fatherly figure or legal energy or some sort of diplomatic energy here, um, like a graduate energy, very wise energy. So I, you know, this could be too even where you graduated, maybe you got your master's degree or your doctorate, <clears throat> even maybe you're just your bachelor's, right? <clears throat> and this created this opportunity that has allowed you to, um, you know, really change, I'm hearing, change your persona. However, this, this creates maybe some type of, um, there might be some other people that are jealous here or that are sad that you're, you have this opportunity because they will no longer have be able to keep their eye on you, Gemini. And, you know, maybe it's better that you are moving on because you want to get away from that. I am getting sort of this... I, I mean, it's a little bit of the eye on the prize energy too, but I am getting a little bit of a somebody wanting to keep tabs on you and I feel that here too can you give us an outcome for this uh, situation the scenario thank you spirit <laughs> that daughter cups just came back around <coughs> with the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck I just think that's where you are at right now. Um, strength card. One more card for outcome card here. Outcome. Too many cards, but thank you. Just one more card. It's way too many cards. Okay. I heard go to other deck. Six of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is just kooky energy, Gemini. It might just take a lot to really move away from this six of cup energy, you know? Look, yes, what did I just say? We have the Magician at the bottom of the deck with the star. Yeah, exactly, and the World card, yeah. Okay, I, I'm really getting the energy of just maybe this is something, it's an opportunity that feels really unfamiliar to you, Gemini. This could be something taking you way out of your comfort zone. And you really have to dig deep here um, in order to um, be able to take do this. I'm surprised the Fool card hasn't come out here. Because I'm hearing we take this leap of faith, right? To take this opportunity to get gather your strength. I, I I feel like almost with this, maybe it's almost even giving to me. You've you've been dependent on other people for so long, or maybe other people have been dependent on you 
that you are in fear of what you're going to do if you move ahead to this new opportunity. Walking away from things and leaving people upset, right? These broken glasses, I feel like, are people who, whose energy, they're upset with you because you're walking away, you know? They're not excited for you. They're bummed because now they don't get to suck your energy anymore, I feel like. Can you give us one more outcome card for this? One more outcome card. I should say this, the, I almost want to say the strength that uh, Gemini should embody here, right? We have the Knight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. So we have another King of Swords, or another Knight of Swords, pardon me, King of Swords. So we have another King of Swords here. This is almost saying to me that it's like, you need to embody the energy of this King of Swords. You need to not let anybody dictate. This ha this came out, I'm, I feel like I this is deja vu, I'm repeating myself. I feel like these cards, I might even try and find that because I think it was only like a week ago. People aren't going to tell you what to do anymore. How you're going to earn your living. how What you're going to do with your money. You know, this is really interesting. Look, Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Yeah, people are not happy about the opportunities. It's like almost like you're surrounded, I feel like, by people that aren't happy with the opportunities that are being presented to you. And I feel like you have to keep your cards really close to your chest here. You can't let people know what's going on. Um, you really have to gather the strength within you here. It's more of that Aries energy, um, or Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy, pardon me, this is uh, Leo energy. But it's that energy of being, especially with that King of Swords there coming out twice, of being in your, standing in your power, knowing your worth, knowing your strength, um, knowing when to... Uh, You know, be a kind person, but also when people are trying to, like, five of wand you here, right? Put you in this nine of swords energy, or be in that seven of swords, whatever. Then you, then you know, then you, this, it's almost like this dual nature of you, right? Gemini, so Gemini is, like, dual natured, right? So it's, like, the twins. One side of you, right, is, like... I don't know, I, I'm getting this, like, this quiet lion energy here. <clears throat> and then on this other side here, it's just like, no, no bullshit. There's no bullshit, right? But <clears throat> anyway, back to what I was saying, I feel like it's more like about you just being very protective of your energies, not letting other people tell you what to do, how to do things. If you're going to take this opportunity, you're going to take this opportunity, so be it. I don't get so much an energy of this as somebody else coming in here, this King of Swords. I really do feel like even this Queen of Cups energy here, I do feel like even this is your energy, Gemini. I just feel like you're embodying this energy. You're good. This is your transformation here from this Death card with that Queen of Cups. It's This is a very creative energy. It's getting in touch with your emotions, being uh, open-minded going after your what did I say it's like doing something maybe that you wanted to do since you were younger you know so it's like but it's leveling up at the same time it's having this transformation here this is beautiful all right I'm gonna leave it here this is really interesting energy Gemini um I wish you all uh love and light and I appreciate you all so much hopefully I'll catch you in the next one bye